Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the bridge today. Alright guys, thanks for talking about Gray's Beer Reviews today. Finally getting to the last of these beers that are old and funky out of the fridge. This is uh, another one of the Boom, which is uh, from Explosion Brewing of the Czech Republic. This is a 2011 edition of Boomer Wald's Bohem... It's B... B-O-H-M-E-R-W-A-L-D-S. Boomer Wald's Majesty Lager. 8.8%. Uh, beer, um, uh, I have ADV on this beer guys, from the Czech Republic that invented lagers. We offer beers that have explosion of flavor. The Beaverwald is a heavy forested mountain range and one of Europe's oldest. Boom Bohemian Mountain is a Doppelbach brewed with rye, malt, beet, sugar, and oak aged and blended for a round husky taste. Hmm. Well, we'll see about how good this one is, guys. Wasn't impressed with the last one. Not a lot of scores, uh, either on Rate Beer or Beer Advocate. So, not a lot of information here. Uh, it is a Doppelbach, 8.8. .8. Food pairing cuisine is German. The cheeses are the buttery brie, Gouda, Havarti, Swift, your earthy cheeses, Camembert, Fontina. Handy meat for this is game. Glassware is a Pilsen glass, Focal mug, or Sidel. This is the Pilsner glass that I use, guys. So, without further ado, let's get the cap off of this puppy. And this wasn't a cheap beer. This was like $6.99. So, not impressed with the last one, man. I'm hoping I'm going to be more impressed with this one. So, that's what will determine whether Boom will show up in my fridge again. Or it may say Boom and stay on the shelf. <laughs> Big beer, big bottle, big glass. Hope it has big flavor, big taste. Over into the light, guys, a lot of little teeny bubbles. Uh, we got some very small particulates floating around in it. Nothing really big or nothing massive, but there are just a tiny bunch of little specks floating around in there. So, nice color. It's a little bit darker than a. It's, it's, it's darker than a regular lager, but I, it's a rich amber, which I will call it, copper tone. It's got a nose on it. Whew. Heavy alcohol. It's almost like the airplane glue spell. Very strong. This is like malt liquor. I mean, this is, I mean, if that's what they're drinking over there, that's fine and dandy. A lot of people drink that stuff over here. I, I have a lot of friends that drink. They're into the malt liquors, the malt liquor crew. And that's exactly what this is. This is like airplane glue. It's so strong. Wow. Here we go, guys. Cheers. Whoa. That's that's airplane glue. <laughs> That is probably the worst Doppelbach I think I've ever had. I sure hope she likes this one because you know, unless she drinks this one, it's going out of here. Won't be buying any more Boom beers. We're done. That's it. Not a kaput. We're going to let it warm up just a tad. And I'll come back with this a little bit, but I can pretty much assure you this is not something I would buy again or seek out. We've done two of them now, and both of them, maybe even three, I'm not sure. I didn't think the first one was quite that bad, but the last one and this one is just, it's, it's just alcohol. I mean, it's a bunch of, it's, it's like a bunch of sugar poured in and throw some yeast in there and just let it, just let it go to town. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. Guys, I'll be right back. We'll do this final chug. All right, guys, I'm back. I did not drink this. I pulled it. I took it in there, and she made the face. I told her, 
it's going into it's going down the sink. I don't like it. I ain't drinking it. It's the worst one I've ever had. And she said, No, I don't know. So she's gonna drink it later on, so it's garbage, final chug. That's like that's I think I'd rather have a steel reserve. Oh, man. Yuck. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a three, it's a D. It's below average. Don't seek it out. Don't This is the last boom beer you'll see in this house. This is the last boom beer that you see this guy review. I know there's better beers over there than this. This is like the ultimate bad malt liquor as far as I'm concerned. So with that being said, uh there's no ratings on beer advocate for this beer. And uh rate beer has no ratings on that, so the rating I'm going to give it is, is a 3, a D. Don't seek it out. If you've had it, give me some back some comments. If you loved it, tell me why you loved it. If you didn't like it, I know why you didn't like it. Because I didn't like it either, guys. So, let's look in the fridge tomorrow. I think we're getting down to the last couple of old ones and, and the low ABV beer. So, it ain't going to be long. By the time February gets here, we're going to be doing some good beers. And we've done a couple good ones here. So, the Surly Darkness and the Marshall Zukov has been excellent beers. And... And uh, the beer mail, we got, uh, we're going to do that beer for too long, too. That that uh, bourbon barrel that Rich sent me is going to be tasty. I know it is. So, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow's beer, but let's go see what it is. Join me then.